what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here. Uh, Marty Music is the destination. Guitar lessons, brand spanking new for you guys. Thanks so much for the continued support. I'm so grateful to you guys, so thank you. And in this lesson, we're going to do Nirvana, Heart Shaped Box. I'm going to do the whole song, including the little, little solo there, a quick little solo. So I hope you really enjoy it. And also, just thanks for spreading the word and sharing the videos and liking the videos and leaving comments. So let's dig in. Here we go. All right, so the guitar is tuned to drop D flat. And what that means is you take a regular standard tuned guitar and lower each string down one half step. So that's E flat tuning. Then once you're in E flat tuning, you lower the low string down another whole step to D flat, also known as C sharp. And you get this. So when you play the top three strings here, it's a D power chord, and actually a D flat power chord, but we're just gonna kind of still name it by the standard name, so. So now let's get the chords, because he's varying, he's playing the part a little differently throughout the song. So let's just get the basics of that first. So it's gonna be an A power chord. So you got the open A, then you got second fret D, second fret G. And he's gonna pick that out. Then we're gonna to go to the third fret and cover the top three strings. And we're gonna pick those out. And this time, this is where the variations already start. This time we're gonna go same way we did the A chord. Then the open D. And this very first time he goes one, two, and two, and uh. That varies throughout the whole song too. So here's what we have so far. Then basically the same thing. But this time instead of we go and these are little variations that you're not going to really notice if you play it just one way, but that's what happens. And then we hit the open string. So let's do all that. Now we need to learn probably the coolest part, I think, of the song. And he varies that throughout the whole song, too. But this is the way it's played the most. It goes open D, and then we slide up to the fourth fret. While that D's ringing out, we slide with our ring finger from the, yeah, basically from the second to the fourth. And we're gonna slide. So, and it and the slide is one pick, and then the second pick. Then we hit the open A. So from the top. So let's stick with that line. So after the open A, we go back to the fourth fret of the D, so. Then he does this little grab right here, and this is where he's varying it. Sometimes he's just laying on that, sometimes it's together. But think of it this way, third fret on the A string, ring finger on the fourth of the D. And it goes, which really is emphasizing the open G. So we're going, but we can get the D in there as well. So it's like, 
And that's pretty much the main riff of the song. So let's do it again. to the chorus. Now, some of the variations, only the very first time on the D. This is go like one, two, and two, da, da. And then later, that's something that's varying constantly. But you just want to get that rhythm, da, 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 which is a very standard rhythm, one and two and... Um, with the top three strings here. That's a D power chord. So any way you do the rhythm on that, and there's two guitars, by the way, going on the whole time. Know, that's gonna that's gonna pretty much get you through just the idea of the rhythm picking the notes out and having fun with it and it's eventually gonna kick on the distortion I'm using a big muff fuzz pedal and you know the tuning on the guitar that's it I'm using the bridge the bridge pickup too but basically once you kick on a, a fuzz pedal it gets very raunchy very grungy <laughs> so Let's get the chorus now, because basically it goes. And it's uh, the chorus is very, you know, same chords as what we've played so far. But now it's going to do, uh, you know, distortion, uh, this little half step bend that happens throughout. So we go on an A power chord. And what we're doing is we're going to be bending, and this is going to happen a lot, the fourth fret of the G string, a half step. And this is where it helps having another guitar that's going, you know, really laying down, make it full. But so we got, duh, duh, duh. then we go to that second chord, which we can call it an F power chord, and we do, sorry. And we're gonna just do the same bend, but I'm gonna, since my finger's here, I'm gonna use my middle finger there. And then this lick is the same. It's just the open D though. And that's how it changes, it goes. Da, 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 what? So check it out. See that? So it is different. Uh, uh, and it keeps doing that. So, hey, hey, I got a new complaint. And 
And there are variations there, because sometimes it's... Uh, Just like that, instead of the very, you know, it's all varied, but it's the same idea of what I'm showing you. And you can be loose with it. And I think that's what he was doing. I don't think he played it really the same way twice. I really don't. Uh, other than the, you know, the core, <laughs> the core parts. So the chorus again. Well, actually, let's do one verse into the chorus. <laughs> the song again so what happens is it does it a bunch of times and then finally so it goes right from there's a little kind of anticipation strum it's kind of a and you get to that F power chord again, and it's just one and two and three and four and uh, the open D power chord. And then you're gonna bend, and it's just gonna the bend's gonna hold, and with a nice overdrive, it'll it'll be raunchy and ring out. You just bend that again, but you let instead of it's just Take the distortion off and you get back into it. solo is great because it's it's pretty easy you put a lot of attitude into it a bunch of fuzz and you know just make it raunchy right so the solo here it is you can use your middle finger or your ring finger on the seventh fret of the d string and then we're going to jump over skip over to the eighth fret of the B string, and I like to use all three fingers to bend it. It's just a whole step and back. So you got. Then the exact same thing down a whole step. So it'd be the fifth and the sixth. Put that together. And then we go to the third fret. If you get the G string on the third fret as well, that's good, but it's really emphasizing that note, so. And so then what I'm doing, I'm bending the fifth fret of the B string up a half step, not a whole step. 
then back down, then the third, then the first, then the open. And I'm just pulling them off. there was a lesson thanks again for the continued support if there's a lesson you'd like to see me do a request that you'd like to make go ahead and leave it in the comments below i really appreciate you liking this video and sharing it and all that stuff so thanks again and we'll see you in a video real soon take care